you know so that's what the wick is kind of looking like now and the, the power look how thick and wow yo that's just long continue crocheting here I realize I shouldn't have took out all the rubber bands so fast because it was definitely easier to close Look, okay, I still have some bits of rubber band up there as well like that's the fucked up part is that rubber bands will break in your locks Probably like ASMR. <laughs> you can just hear everything going on in my locks. Some people love that sound, some people don't love it. I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm on both sides there. I love it, but I hate it at the same time because it just sounds like I'm tearing all my freeform locks apart that have taken their journey on their own here. But you know, it's all, it's all an experimentation on this lock. I wouldn't experiment on my whole head. It's actually advised not to for longevity. If you're looking to have locks long term, <clears throat> it's better to not do any experiments on your hair because you never know what could go wrong and why risk it when you want to have dreads for longer a lot of these dudes that are doing different colors and different styles that are trying new things out they don't really care about having locks long term they're only in it for the um, short fashion side of it for whatever they want to use their lock appearance for a lot of times it's just people for to get noticed as an artist um, so I kind of feel the same with like face tats sometimes they just get them to get noticed but if you want to have your locks for a long time thinking long thinking long term don't bleach your hair avoid bleaching avoid chemicals avoid Updos and braid outs that are just super tight and strenuous on the scalp. Even avoid crochet hooking, you know? Avoid crochet hooking right at the root. I'm not crochet hooking my root, I'm just crochet hooking up to the point where the locks were to join. All the new growth on these are gonna be natural. I'm gonna keep all the new growth here natural. This is working. So yeah, it is. It's closing. It's working. A lot of people will go and get their wicks done fully like this. They'll get the rubber bands put in and then they get the crochet hook across their whole head. It turns out though, they only have to go get it maintained maybe once or twice a year. I'm feeling now that, you know, if there's any way someone's gonna create locks, a crochet hook is the way to do it. <clears throat> it's way better than twisting or interlocking because you're still allowed to have new growth at the roots when you crochet but you can still end up locking up you know the, the whole way down of the lock you know so that's what the wick it's kind of looking like now and the, the power look how thick and wow yo that's just long I didn't realize how long my lock is jeez that's just a big long dread now I love the, I love the thickness of it jeez I kind of wish all my locks were that thick and just have like really less than 15 locks on my head and you know what, I love this because you know, you can always go to thicker locks. You can transition to thicker locks with this method if it really, if you really want to. Um, could I do the reverse and, and split these again after? I mean, yeah, I probably could. There's gonna be some, some hair loss that comes out, maybe a couple dreads loss. Never again, I don't feel like I'm gonna want thin dreads at this point forward. 
the thicker the better. And I really want to promote that to people because I know it's always been the opposite up until this point where people always like the thin, neat, pretty bathroom locks. But I'm realizing now that the more I do it, the more other people will be inspired and the more acceptable it's going to be, you know, for the youth to, to have thick dreads wherever you are out there in the world. Uh, you know, one area I would like to see dreads more acceptable amongst the youth is in Africa, believe it or not. And if every African I talk to on Instagram live about locks, they always say that, you know, their parents don't want them having it because it makes them look like a gangster or a drug user and something like that. And they really, really don't understand the culture of locks and especially in an area like that where you'd think it'd be more understood overstood so yeah definitely big shout outs to everybody that's been supporting this channel over the years those ride or die people that have been here since my first set of locks always appreciate that um a lot, a lot of new things happening for this year. Um, you know, trying to live stream a lot more on Instagram. I know I haven't been live streaming on YouTube as much as I used to. I know I was doing it daily at one point. Uh, I still think about getting back into it at that level. Um, you know, I dropped a new merch store. Um, not, I haven't officially dropped it yet, but it is up and running does have the new bandanas on there that I've been working on. One black, one rasta colored one. And um, yeah, shout out to those that have already ordered a few. I just I just really released them the other day subtly and there's already been a few orders. So I appreciate that. Um, I do have my old merch on my big cartel shop still available like the rasta hats like this. Um, still have some swim caps on there as well. So if you are looking for swim caps, they're on the Big Cartel store. And if you're looking for any other merch, the Teespring store will supply that. Just until I run out of my own merch to sell on Big Cartel. But I'll probably end up just having two stores running. I just got to make an easier way for you guys to access them. Because I know it can be confusing having two stores. Even just talking about having two stores sounds kind of confusing. But essentially the big cartel store allows me to sell like personal. And then the Teespring stuff is all just kind of like drop shipment logo stuff. And like for instance like if I come across like say some sea moss or some black African soap that I can sell to you guys or some... Uh, unique dreadlock tams I find on my travels or whatnot like those are the types of things I can put on my big cartel and ship personally out to you guys you know kind of like how Zaylock does it with his with his stuff I know he's selling a lot of natural products Shout out to Zaylox as well. I know he's been doing a lot more live streaming lately. I'm happy to see him embracing the technology. And uh, he is on road to 100K as well. So, you know, definitely want to see the Dread family, the Locked family grow. Go support Zaylock if you're not already subscribed to him. Get Let's get him to 100K so he too can get the uh, YouTube plaque. And uh, it's just awesome to see so many more lock tubers with bigger channels growing these days. Really cool to see. Um, shout outs to Dolly Locks collaboration happening soon uh, in terms of some product reviews. So we got some shampoo and some cond Ow. and some conditioner. So you got to be careful with these. Because um, they, they can poke you. And I just got poked by the bamboo, not even the fucking crochet hook. I actually really like the grip of these um, crochet needles. Because I've always had to make my own grips on them. 
And you do have to be careful about poking yourself with these because you can poke yourself. I just did and I was bleeding, but I wasn't even poked by the metal. I was poked by the bamboo. Then it kind of broke off, which was really weird. Ow, I just poked myself there. The size of these are 0 0.5 millimeters as well. And um, I can leave a link to these in the description if anyone is looking to get some, some of their own here. But essentially my lock is, uh, it's all done. Essentially it's all done. Just gonna do a little bit of a palm roll after this. But yeah, a little bit of a rub down here. And this is like my first now official wick that's come into play. And it's, you can see the new growth of it, how much thicker it's actually gonna grow out than what this is right now. It's gonna grow out double the size of this. Big time, big and flat. And this is now just a combined big, one big dread. You know, and the weight of it, like it's, you can kind of see, it's almost like a rope. Like it, the weight and the thickness of this lock now, like it's kind of stiff. Like it's actually kind of nuts to feel the difference in this big dread compared to how they felt when they were free form. So very heavy very thick let me know in the comments below what you guys think about my crocheted wick and the only other one that i will consider to close up is big daddy beside it um, but you know this one is probably one of the newest ones it is closed up here naturally they have combined together naturally already uh, it's just a matter of if i want to thicken this up and open and close these here now as well um and to be honest i i don't really feel like i want to because i like the way that these feel opposed to how this big one kind of feels and to have two really big ones like that on my on the back of my head you know might be too much so definitely cool though Having this big ass lock here. Well, I feel like it got longer. Check out the length on that. Like what the hell? How did that happen? It's so much longer than my other lock. Crazy. The length on this thing is, is immaculate now. Word up. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below. And um, I'll see you around. This has been a blessed day. It's been an awesome week. Kept it real low key and chill. And I'm looking forward to growing with you guys in the future. So until next time, peace out, one love. Stay happy and natty. And I just learned that natty doesn't necessarily mean Naughty. My new understanding of the word natty is natural. You say natty for when something is natural. And then nappy is something that's curly. But natty could also mean naughty. But I like to think of it now as, as natural. So like somebody with twisted or interlocks that isn't necessarily natty. Somebody with freeform locks, they will be natty. So just keep that in mind. You know, that we want to be natty. And you can be natty with straight hair. Your hair doesn't have to be coarse or, or, or curly to be natty. You just want it to be natural. So, so to all my natty dreadheads out there, you know who you are. And uh, even though I'm crocheting the shit out of this lock right now, 
the new growth of it is going to be more natty than ever. Big thick Congo lock. Anyways, I'm gone. Thanks for watching. Peace. The